Welcome to Saints Now. I am Will Scott. Today's show going to be breaking down potential candidates to replace head coach Dennis Allen if the Saints do indeed fire D.A. either before the season or after the regular season. And it has been a disastrous first season as head coach for D.A. in New Orleans. Saints came in with all these expectations. I mean, my goodness, Peter King picked the Saints to be the number one seed in the NFC. A lot of other people did as well. And when you look at D.A. as a head coach, this is not his first head coaching gig. He was not good uh, with the Oakland, the then Oakland Raiders as well. Uh, this team has too much talent to be playing this poorly as well. Here's been some of the biggest issues. No accountability, no spark, no leadership, no culture. It's been a uh, massively disappointing season for the Saints, and it really does start with their head coach, Dennis Allen. Uh, the injuries, yeah, that has not helped. Uh, but I'm tired of that excuse. Every team in the NFL is dealing with injuries. The Saints have too much talent, too much, excuse me, too much depth on this roster to be in the position they are right now at three and seven after the first ten games of the season. Here's what Catherine Terrell uh, tweeted earlier today. Uh, Dennis Allen said he'll sit down and visit with Jameis Winston. We'll talk to the medical staff, etc. Said they have to do what gives the team the best chance to win. Said he has not made a decision at quarterback yet, but sounds like Winston is a possibility. And that's another reason that I've been frustrated with D.A. Winston's been the best option, and you keep throwing Andy Dalton out there. When when Winston was not healthy, then yeah, starting, Walton, uh, starting Dalton made sense. But the last couple weeks, it should have been James out there, and now your season's on the verge of being over at 3-7. and seven. So should the Saints delay the inevitable, right? I think we can all agree that D.A.'s not going to work out as the head coach, so... Instead of giving him another season, should they fire him, we'll see what ends up going down. But do you want the Saints to fire Dennis Allen as head coach? Type F for fire or type K for keep down in the comment section. Go down. Let me know. It is the pinned comment on today's video. Reply to it when you get a second. Type F for fire or type K for keep. Guys, today's show is sponsored by Established Titles. It's a fun and novel way to preserve the natural woodlands of Scotland while helping global reforestation efforts. It's a project based on a historic Scottish custom where landowners are referred to as lairds, lords, or ladies in English. Title packs give you at least one square foot of dedicated land with a unique plot number on a private estate in Edelson, Scotland, and an official certificate with, a, official certificate with a crest. We plant a tree with every order and work with global charities, One Tree Planted, and Trees for the Future to support global reforestation efforts flying over my land right now. You can officially include the title Lord or Lady on your credit card, plane tickets, dating profiles. It makes for a great last-minute gift. And in fact, the first 200 people purchasing a title pack using my link will effectively be next to my plot within a few minutes of walking distance, depending on how many of you Want to become a lord or lady? We can build a saint's kingdom over there else in Scotland. I got that proclamation in the mail. You can do the same. Makes for a great last-minute gift. The holidays are coming up. We're all thinking about gifts. Right now, they're running a massive early Black Friday sale with discounts up to 80% off. Plus, if you go to that link and use promo code CHAT, you're going to save an additional 10% on the perfect holiday gift. So go to that link. Use promo code chat and go grab a plot of Scottish land right next to me at EstablishedTiles.com slash chat. Let's get in now to some Allen replacements, and we begin with someone who is the runner-up, the DA for this job. That is Eric Bieniemy. You may remember the Saints had a couple meetings with him that went well. He almost got the job over DA, which would have been a pretty big upset. Uh, but taking a look here at his resume, he's been in the mix for a lot of head coaching gigs and just has not gotten one the last couple of years. He's been the OC with the Chiefs since 2018, won the Super Bowl with them previously, was the running backs coach with the Chiefs, and then before that had some college head coaching experience at Colorado. So, yeah, I mean, he's a solid candidate. Uh, half of the NFL's interviewed this guy, and for whatever reason, uh, he just has not been hired uh, as a head coach. But I think he's a quality candidate, what he's done with Patrick Mahomes and that Chiefs offense is very impressive. So well, we'll see what happens, but uh, I would be uh, a little bit surprised if the Saints fire Allen and he's not one of the top three candidates. Here is what the Chiefs offense has done this year. First in points, third in yards, second in red zone touchdown percentage, 
second and third down uh, percentage as well. So they, since he took over in 2018, have been one of the more high-powered, explosive offenses in the league. Sure, you can say that's all Patrick Mahomes, but Eric Bieniemy still has a, a lot to do with that. Who do you want to replace Dennis Allen if the Saints fire him? Go down in the comments section and let me know. And if the Saints do make a move, we're going to have you covered. So be sure to subscribe and turn on your notifications. That's the sublink right there. What do you think, guys? Should we bring Sean Payton back to the boot? The former head coach of the Saints is on my list here, and I think he should be number one on your list. Uh, I'd love it. I don't think it's realistic, but I would love it. Give him a blank check to come back. What do the Dolphins offer him? Like $20 million per year? Give him the same amount. you got to do whatever it takes to get Sean Payton back to New Orleans. It is worth noting that two of the gigs that he would have been interested in are probably not going to be open. Mike McCarthy's doing a decent job in Dallas, and Mike McDaniel's going to potentially be in the Coach of the Year conversation over there in Miami. I mean, here's the dream scenario if you're a Saints fan. Sean Payton returns, and you sign Lamar Jackson. That might be a Super Bowl team next year if that happens, even if you're even after a disappointing season this year. Here's what Sean Payton said about Lamar Jackson. Well, the number one thing is I have a chance to be a free agent. I mean, he has a chance to be a free agent. I would say that first, I think we've seen him get the ball down the field. I feel like every weekend we see great vertical passing game by him. Man, he's explosive. I think he's become a better down-the-field thrower, and partly because the game he's playing now is different than he was playing in college. When you watch him here, the late nights man, this guy would just drive you crazy trying to come up with a defensive scheme to game plan for him. Sean Payton, I'm speaking on behalf of all of Houdat Nation right now. Please come home. I'm coming home. I'm coming home. I can see the tribute video right now when the Saints hire Sean Payton back. Please, please, please make it happen. Do you want Sean Payton to return to the Saints? If so, type who dat down in the comment section. You should be spamming who dat. Get Sean Payton's attention that you want him back. And then Shane Steichen is also a name here uh, that could be in the mix for some head coaching jobs. Currently the offensive coordinator in Philadelphia has done a great job. Look at what the Eagles offense has done this year. Currently 8-1 and one after the loss last night. Uh, the fifth in points, nine in yards, third in red zone TD percentage, and then fourth in third down percentage. Taking a look at his resume here, started at Louisville. It is pronounced Louisville, by the way, not Louisville, as I've discovered. I've been there a few times. It's a great place, Louisville, Kentucky, by the way, Coop. Great place. Then spent some time with the Chargers. The Browns uh, was the OC with L.A. in 2020, and then the OC the last two seasons with the Eagles. They have one of the more explosive offenses in the NFL, so I like Steichen as a potential name here. He's, he's expected to generate a lot of interest here in this next coaching cycle. Now, Right now, D.A., you know, we have D.A., who's a defensive coach. Who do you want to hire, an offensive-minded coach or a defensive-minded coach? I'm typing offensive-minded. This is an offensive-driven league. I'm typing O for offense. Speaking of offense, Drew Brees! Do you want to bring Drew Brees back as head coach? And you might say, Will, you're crazy. We never hire, we never hire Drew Brees. He doesn't have any coaching experience. But could he at least be a decent option here? Can't be any worse than Dennis Allen. Drew Brees is a Saints legend. Uh, this We're just putting this you know, on the screen for fun, just to have a fun conversation about it. But uh, he's a leader. He'd be a great leader in the locker room. And, hey, the Colts hired Jeff Saturday with no head coaching experience. He's off to a pretty good start coaching Indy. If not, if Jeff Saturday can win, why not Drew? That's my thinking here. So it's, it's not going to happen. But it'd be a lot of fun, something to talk about. This is more likely. Brian Flores, the current linebackers coach for the Pittsburgh Steelers, was the head coach with the Miami Dolphins last year. Uh, do you think that I'm you know, asking you Saints fans, do you want to potentially bring Flores in here? Let me know down in the comments section. But um, we'll see what happens. I think Brian Flores is a good coach. Uh, there was apparently uh, just kind of, some stuff that went on in the locker room last year in Miami, just kind of a disconnect with him and the players, and maybe that's why the Dolphins moved on. But he won in Miami. He had a couple good seasons there, 24 and 25 as a head coach, though. Or you look at where else he's coached. Uh, coached in uh, New England for a while as their linebackers coach, now is, uh, now is under Mike Tomlin 
as their linebackers coach in Pittsburgh. So we'll see as that lawsuit against the NFL, but I still believe he had, uh, that he'll get some interest here. D'Amico Ryans is definitely going to get a lot of interest. The defensive coordinator for the San Francisco 49ers, he would probably be number one on my list here behind Sean Payne. Look at what the Niners' defense has done. They're arguably the best defense in the league. Third in points allowed, first in yards allowed, fourth in sacks, and 20th in turnovers. So uh, D'Amico's done a great job there, was a great player for the Houston Texans, arguably an even better coach. Taking a look at his resume, he has a couple of years of coaching experience under his belt now. Uh, but I really like D'Amico. He's going to be at the top of a lot of uh, a lot of lists here when you're talking about some coaching vacancies that are bound to happen. He's a young and exciting coach who probably brings some much-needed energy and life to the Saints team. Here's what an NFL exec said about him. D'Amico sees it differently. There's something different when a middle linebacker is calling the defense. He has to know what's going on in front of him and behind him. The structure of the scheme was already in place, but he took some of the nuance out of it so guys could just line up and play. So I think if D'Amico gets hired by the Saints, that would make for a lot of happy Saints fans. So we'll see what happens, but if D.A. gets fired, I certainly expect D'Amico to be in the mix. Guys, who do you want to hire as the head coach? We talked about six names. Who do you want to bring in? Type one for Bienemy, type two for Payton, type three for Steichen, type four for Breeze. Type 5 for Flores or type 6 for D'Amico Ryans. For me, I'm typing 2, but I'm also typing 6. D'Amico would be a great candidate. Guys, go down, subscribe to the channel. We'll let you know if the Saints make a move.